All right, welcome to the second video of my Europe 2018 trip, a three-week trip to Europe of a lifetime. This is a, it's a little video going from uh, Manchester Airport to where I was staying in Wigan. And it's always interesting to travel this section because it's the first kind of glimpse of England that you have for me coming from Canada, or in this case, Iceland. The plus of this is that you get to travel on this little section of railway, which is one of the, I think it's one of the busiest sections in Britain. But it basically goes from Piccadilly Station to the Odds Hall Cord, and uh, it's very cool. So at this point, the train is going through uh, to Newton Lee Willows down the old Liverpool Manchester Railway, making a turn north onto the West Coast Main Line and then into Wigan. It's a Trans Pennine. And uh, what else do you do when you come to Wigan? There's only one thing to do. Exactly. All right, so the next day, due to jet lag, I'm up early. Back on the train from Walgate into Liverpool. Doing a bit of filming as I'm going. This is Pemberton Station just outside Wigan. And here I am in Liverpool. Hi, we're here in Liverpool. And uh, right in the uh, cool part of town. We're going to have a walk around and uh, be a dickhead with a, with a GoPro on the end of a stick. We're right across from Liverpool Lime Street, over that way. This is the building that my dad used to work out of when he worked here. from here and over here we have the Liv Empire Theatre, the Liverpool Empire, where I saw my very first band in 1976, uh, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Yeah, I think they banned the bands after that for quite a few years. Anyway, the, uh, you're in the cool part of Liverpool with all the old buildings and whatnot. So I made my way into the Walker Art Gallery. I've never been there before. I never knew it existed. I just followed signs and uh, began to realize I recognized some of the artwork inside. And the one I found that was missing was Narcissus and Echo, uh, which used to be in my living room for many years. All right, so we've done Liverpool. We're in the Art Gallery, the Walker. Lots of pictures. Now we're just outside. Standing by the Hillsborough Memorial, which is just over here. And uh, I'll look around. So after a bit of a wander around, decided to Headed on back down into the Mersey Rail Station, down into the deep, dark underground of Liverpool, and get on a train to New Brighton. I wasn't sure at this point where I was going to go. Sometimes I just like to follow my nose and go to places. And New Brighton seemed pretty good at the time. So I got on the train to New Brighton and headed over there. Nice little trip, some of it underground once you're out of the tunnel on the Birkenhead side and then uh, up and then for a brief walk onto the waterfront at Liverpool. So I've made it here to uh, New Brighton. I've been to New Brighton in many, many years. 
Uh, and I thought it would be an interesting contrast to uh, the waterfront at uh, uh, Iceland, where I was uh, just a couple of days ago. There, the weather's a little different here. It's a little milder. It's, I suppose we're getting quite warm pretty soon here. So we're getting up to something like mid 20s by the weekend. The tide is in here. Uh, it looks a little different. And when I extend this, you're probably not going to hear what I'm saying. So he's back to the railway station, add a sandwich and a cup of tea, and then uh, hang out to the New Brighton railway station. Don't see many of those. And then he was back to Wigan for the night. So we're now on day four, which I'm basically going east from Wigan into Manchester. And then off to visit my friend Tony and his family in Glossop. So here I'm back at Piccadilly. And then a little quick walk into the center of Manchester to see all the weird and wonderful things going on there. And then there's a quick jump on into the Metrolink and I'm heading off to Bury for the East Lancashire Museum. The Railway Museum, well it's a transportation museum, but mainly a railway museum, but lots of old stuff there. And then it was a jump onto the train that w runs the East Lanx Railway, the East Lancashire Railway, runs from Bury up to Ronstall. This is the Ramsbottom Railway Station. A lovely trip up and down on a steam train. Loved it. It was amazing. And as you can tell from these videos, I'm doing a lot of trips by train. I didn't, uh, I haven't hired a car in Britain for many, many years. I preferred the train. It's a little bit more sedate. You get to see more things. And if you're wondering, the music that you're listening to in the back is actually music that is inspired by each section. So the name of the song in the background right now is Bury the Ram's Bottom. And then we're going back down into Bury, down uh, back to where we started. This is the Irwell Valley, and there's the River Irwell. Lovely countryside. It was beginning of May, and things were starting to come out, being spring and all. Lots of sheep, lots of lambs. So it's back on the Metrolink and into Manchester and then off from Manchester, off to Glossop and on to my next day. So one of the benefits of having jet lag is you do get up early for a few days on arrival and uh, one of the benefits of that is that you get to hear the English countryside mornings which are very unique. And this is uh, Glossop in Derbyshire where my friend Tony lives. There's me and Tony having a bit of breakfast. The weather turned really, really nice, uh, unusually. So we took a drive from Glossop through the Derbyshire hills, through the beautiful village, uh, and then up this p pass that I thought was kind of cool. And uh, for some reason, I just thought, this is like a perfect place for the Romans to go. But as you can see, it's uh, quite a steep hill, lots of cyclists. And uh, yeah, and lots of sheep, lots of people walking. Meh. And, uh, and, and in, he's, in these days of uh, COVID-19 and all being isolated from each other, it's, it's cool to see people kind of hanging out The music you're listening to is called Rainy Gloss Up Morning, which is inspired by this section of my my holiday. So he's back to Piccadilly. Tony dropped me off at the railway station and then it was off to Liverpool Lime Street via Warrington, which is an indirect route. And then just uh, jump onto the Lime Street to Wigan Northwestern train. A train that I've taken many, many times. And here we are leaving Lime Street. Heading into the tunnels. 
And one of the reasons why I've left the volume up on the audio for the train is just to listen to the different accents of people. Because you've gone from Manchester to Liverpool, which may not mean a lot to people, but the accents are very different, and I notice. Here's my old little village of Garswood. Passing through, it was very strange to not get off the train at Garswood. Very strange, even after 35 years. It's built up a bit since I was last there, uh, living in 1981. But that's to be expected, because there's more people in the world, isn't there? So it's back to Wigan, and uh, one of the reasons I was heading back to Wigan was to see my friend's band play, or a band that he's in at least, he's in many bands apparently. And uh, doing a classic Eagles tune, Take It Easy. My friend is the bass player here, Stephen, who we're staying with. So this wraps up day five, and now we go on to day six. All right, so day six, and it's off to Southport to see the relatives. Not been to Southport in many years, but it was a beautiful day to go to the seaside. Of course, being Southport, you never actually get to see the sea. So I take a little trip walking through. Southport's not changed much. Uh, they're trying still very hard to be a uh, you know a little seaside resort. And then it was back courtesy of my uncle Peter and Auntie Kath back to uh, friends for dinner hang out this is going through Billinge and going back to uh, back to Garswood and then it's with these crazy people go on carry on I'm, I'm, it's a film I'm filming keep walking oh no sure you are not posting this on Facebook I'm not quoting this on Facebook you're not quoting me so it was amazing to have a little walk around Garswood, something I've not done since I was a teenager. And here I am standing outside my old primary school in Garswood. Stay tuned for the next video, we're off to Dublin. Coming soon.